What's up, guys, and welcome to the Pigs. What's up, Roach? What's up, Josh, man? Feeling great again, baby. Six in a row for the San Francisco 49ers. We love it over here in the Bay Area. Oh, man, you guys put a beat down to Tom Brady and those Bucks. It wasn't even close, man. Bucks not looking good right now, dude. No, it's not. Brock Purdy became the first ever rookie quarterback to beat Tom Brady in his first career start, baby. He's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Love it. Let's go. And what else did we learn for week 15? Um, The Cowboys, man, squeaking by the Houston Texans. Come on now. What was that they, about? That was a bit of a scare, dude. They were down at halftime, and then Dak throws that late pick, but lucky enough able to recover, drive down the field and win, but that was very scary. For the Detroit Lions, they're still looking hot, man, over the last month. They got that big win over the Minnesota Vikings. Okay, Lions, I see you. Let's go, and Lions. how about Baker Mayfield in that game-winning drive versus the Raiders on Thursday Night Football? Man, that was one of the most unlikeliest things I would have ever thought would happen this year. Baker 90, Mayfield on a new team, game-winning drive on primetime. 92 yards, man. That was incredible. That was very, very impressive. Uh, Tua still struggling, man. He's been looking rough for weeks now. Mm -hmm. Miami Dolphins, ah, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on with Tua, but it's tough. Hopefully and then back. it sucks what happened with Kyler Murray, man. Tearing his ACL on mm -hmm. Monday Night Football. I, I feel so bad. The Cardinals were already having a terrible season. Now they're freaking done, man. We won't see Kyler until well into next season, man. That mm -hmm. sucks, dude. I hope he has a speedy recovery. Me too. So, last week, man, I thought, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about my picks. There was a lot of divisional matchups. So, you know, there's always that quirk to it. Dude, what did you do on the pick? Uh, How many games? Uh, I got. I only got six right, bro. Fuck. I got seven. I got <sighs> seven games correct last week. Terrible. That was awful. Absolutely, man. But you know what? Let's shout out Rocha, the top ten performers in our pick'em from last week. Who were they? All right. So we'll start off mixing hands with woman. Is back. Been a while since we've seen them with ten. I love it. Picks is right. Pick six is picks with 10. Mysterious speculations with 10 picks, right? We got Crazy Turp Fan with 10 as well. Frankie Rise Up also with 10. Mask Dog with 10 picks, right? Green Bay 1212 got 10. Axon with 90 with 10 picks, right? Notifies with 9 picks, right? And King of 2K rounds at the top 10 just with 9 picks, right? All right, so in the top 10, there were guys with nine picks, right? That makes you feel a little bit better. It was a rough week last week. I agree, yes. So congratulations to you guys for finishing top 10 for week 14. Now here's our top 10 overall on the season. Coming in at number one, Mysterious Speculations. Ooh. Number two, Steelers Fan for Life. Number three, Jonas. Let's go. Number four, Hokey Pokey. Number five is Xavier. Number six is Packer Electric. Number seven is JDWHS. Uh, then we have Smiling Buddha. After that, Boss 384. And then number 10 is Travis 1UP. Congratulations, you guys. You are in our top 10. There's only so many more weeks left in the season. Mm -hmm. We're starting to wind down. So make sure you guys get those picks in and nail them right. But all right, Rocha, are you ready for week number 15? You already know I'm already ready, baby. Let's go. He's ready. Are you ready? Then let's get ready. Make sure you guys hit that like button and let's get into the picks for week number 15. And we start on Thursday Night Football. We will be live streaming this game. Roaches 49ers versus the Seattle Seahawks. Who you got? So, man, I'm so excited about this game. Lucky enough for us, Josh Debo, Sammy avoided a major injury. He should be back around week 18. For the Hawks, they could get back Kane Walker in this game. And, Josh, if the 49ers win this game, they are NFC West Division champions, man. Brock Purdy versus Geno Smith. Brock Purdy taking over the NFL. The rookie sensation, Mr. Relevant, man. 
You know, it's going to be a hostile environment for him, but it doesn't matter, Josh. You already know what I got to do, baby. The 49ers are going to win this game. They're going to sweep the Seahawks. They're going to go into Seattle, and they are going to be your NFC Division champions, baby. Let's go. Yeah, I'm taking the San Francisco 49ers as well. Seahawks are having a rough month, man. They're one and four, one and four in their last five. Love They're it. rough right now, dude. Yeah, I, I'm taking the red hot San Francisco 49ers, and Purdy is looking damn good. I'm He's... taking San Francisco on this one, and we will be live streaming. So come hang out. All right, let's go. You never let's know. Go. I'm a short week. Crazy shit can happen. That is true. Divisional payoff. Now, we have Saturday games yeah. this week. We have three Saturday games, and that kicks off with the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Vikings coming off of a loss to the Detroit Lions. So are the Colts. They're on a three-game losing streak. Oof. What do you got? I'm going to rock with the Minnesota Vikings, man. Christian Jurisaw will be back for concussion protocols. There's no way they lose to the Colts here, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm absolutely taking the Minnesota Vikings. I mean, they're going to bounce back off that loss against Detroit, and Indianapolis is just not a good team whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And um, they had that one good little win against the the, the Raiders. Yep. They haven't looked good at all since, so Mm-mm. yeah, I'm taking Minnesota. Moving on to the Cleveland Browns, hosting the Baltimore Ravens divisional matchup. Man, Roach, who you got? This is such a tough one to predict because, obviously, well, Lamar Jackson's not going to play. That backup, sucks. Backup quarterback, Brett Hundley, is in concussion protocols. So, right now, that they sucks. are down to the third-string quarterback right now. I'm going to actually rock with the Cleveland Browns, Josh, whether Huntley plays or not. Cleveland's looking like they're trying to get their men. They did beat the Texans a few weeks ago. I think just Sean Watson finally settles in. And you know what? Give me Cleveland to win this game at home. Yeah, I'm going to take the Browns as well. And this nice. might be Deshaun Watson's best game, mm-hmm. you know, at here at home against the Baltimore Ravens, who are just limping right now. Yep. I'm taking the Brownies. Now to the last game on Saturday night, another divisional matchup, Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. Tua has been struggling lately for weeks now for mm-hmm. Miami. And they looked rough against the Chargers. Tua, I mean, what did he have? Like, not even 50 yards in that first half, dude? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he, he's struggling to be accurate, getting at that ball. Who you got in this one? I got a rock with Buffalo. They did lose Von Miller out for the other torn ACL. That sucks. Uh, it's officially a torn ACL. But Josh, I think it's calling for seven inches of snow. And if Tira can't figure out and a game in Santa Clara where it's clear and a game inside of SoFi Stadium, how is he going to figure out what to do yeah. at a stadium with snow, bro? I heard about the heaters on the sidelines for this for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. You know, they had heaters on the sidelines. Mm-hmm. Now it's... you're going to Buffalo in the snow. Snow. At least it's not seven feet of snow. Like yeah. that one snow game that had, that, well, the lack of a snow game. It prevented That's a snow right. game. Yep. Seven mm-hmm. feet of snow. Seven inches. Okay, that's fun. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking Buffalo. Yeah, Miami can't handle the cold right now. And they're struggling. Oh. Yeah, so let's go Buffalo. The Chicago Bears. The Bears hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. Rocha, what's the injury report on this one? So for this one, it's a pretty much clean sheet for both teams besides the big time injuries, Josh. So it's looking good. Now, this is a game that I marked on my calendar at the very beginning of the year. This is one that I really want bad. Why? Because the Philadelphia Eagles, they, 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 they've owned us for years now, right? And we've had some heartbreaking losses, some blowout losses to the Philadelphia Eagles. And I think this could be a somewhat fun matchup at the very least between Jalen Hurts and Justin Fields, man. Yes. Both have been incredible this year. I think Jalen Hurts is probably the MVP of this league. He's uh-huh. that damn good. They came off of a womp, a stomping on the New York Giants. They've been on a tear, actually, lately. 48 points scored, 35 points scored, 40 points scored in the last three weeks. And now they're going up against one of the worst defenses in my Chicago Bears. I hate to say that and admit it, but it's true. Yeah. Even here at home, it's going to be a struggle to stop that offense of Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders and A.J. Brown. It's going to be tough, man. Jalen Hurts, I mean... Justin Fields is going to have to play out of his mind, like God-tier-like, yeah. to put up a fuck ton of points to keep up with mm-hmm. the Eagles and win this game. And 
you know what? I think the Eagles defense is it's good enough to get a few stops. And I don't like how our offensive play calling has been in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see another ultra conservative play calling in the fourth <laughs> by Lou Getze. So as much as I want this game, and I'll be rooting, of course, for the Bears, my brain's going to go with the Philadelphia Eagles here. Yeah, I'm going to rock with the Eagles too, Just I'm in the same boat. I want to see Justin Fields perform great. I think he will have a good game, so. but the Eagles are going to just be too much, man. Yeah. Okay, Eagles. <laughs> Fuck. Moving on. We have the Saints taking on the Falcons. Divisional game. Another divisional game. And that's the theme right now for the last couple of weeks now. Mm-hmm. We got... So Marcus Mariota is going to be out for the year with a knee injury. It's Desmond Ritter time over there in Atlanta, Josh. And you know what? I'm going to rock with Desmond Ritter to get his first win in his first career start. New Orleans offense, Josh, has been looking pretty bleak. Falcons have an okay defense. So you know what? This should be a good matchup. I, I wouldn't doubt that the Saints win. But you know what? Give me the dirty birds. Give me the Falcons to win. Um... Okay, they're on the road. They're not a good road team. Yeah, Saints have been struggling. I mean, they've scored, what, 16 points in the last two weeks? Yeah. That is fucking rough. Yeah, I'll take take the Falcons. Oh, okay. Uh, You know what? Oh. You know what? Scratch that. Give me New Orleans in this game. I'll take New Orleans here at home. Fuck it. Playing here at home, I'll take the Saints. You take the Falcons, I'll take the Saints. All right, I love it. Let's go. All right. They, they, they can, I think it'd be good enough defensively here at home and take a stand. But this okay. might game this game might go to the fucking wire. Yep. It might go to the wire. It's a divisional I'm, matchup. Anything can happen. Yes, sir. Now mm-hmm. moving on to the Jets. Hosted the Detroit Lions, who are red hot. They're 4-1 and one in their last five games. They are on fire, dude. They're coming off a big win against the Minnesota Vikings. The Jets losing last week to the Buffalo Bills. You know what, dude? I'm going to take the Lions. I'm going to roll with the Red Hot Lions right now and get the dub on the road at MetLife. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with you, man. Mike White should be able to play in this game, but it doesn't matter for me. You said it. Detroit's Red Hot. They're looking to go 7-7, seven and seven, and I agree. We both think they're going to go get 7-7. Seven and seven. Lions, let's get it, man. I'm excited for y'all. To Carolina, where the Panthers are hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh, you let me down last week. I had you against Baltimore. Me too. I mean, dudes, you guys were at home. That should have been y'all's game. But Mm -hmm. you let me down. Carolina, they're coming off of a two-game win streak. Last one against Seattle. On the road. I love it. Going with Carolina for a third in a row. I am, man. Kenny Pickett's a concussion protocols. It's going to probably be Trubisky. I don't like that. I'm going Carolina to make it three in a row. Oh, yeah, if Trubisky's under center. That's 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 rough. Yes. I can't do rough. that. I can't trust that. Trust me, I know. I will go Carolina for a three-game win streak. Keep pounding. Where are the oh. Panthers fans at, man? Keep pounding, Going baby. with Carolina. Let's go. Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys, last week. It was uh, a rough go, but you came up in the clutch. You pulled off the dub against the Houston Texans. Now you're going to going up against another AFC South team in the Jacksonville Jaguars, where mm-hmm. Jennifer Lawrence, just kidding, Trevor Lawrence, <laughs> has been looking pretty dead. But he, he's coming off a big game last week. Mm-hmm. Roach, is it possible Jaguars win this game? Do you have the Jaguars win this game? I don't. I got the Cowboys, but I could see the Jacks. We don't know what Jacks team we're going to get week by week, Josh. That's Who knows? Maybe, maybe we see the great Jacks team, but I think the Cowboys are going to be playing angry here. They, Diggs is questionable with a thumb injury. They're going to go into Jacksonville, saw UCF, and get the dub. You know, I heard on the local Dallas radio station one morning about how they wish that Dallas would have just lost that game to Houston Texans because maybe it's the punch of the mouth that they need currently mm. bef- while, and, and then go forward and bounce yeah. off of that, you know? And I'm like, you know what? It still feels that way. They won. They won that game. Mm-hmm. But they should have dominated the Houston Texans. So Absolutely. even though they won, I still feel like it was a pretty good punch in the mouth and mm-hmm. a wake-up call. Yep, I'm taking the Cowboys, and I think they're going to play big time here on the road. The Cowboys win this one. Let's go. They are minus four and a half. I'll take I that. They win by a touchdown. Yep, At least agree. a touchdown in this game. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm taking the Cowboys. Let's go. Moving on. Houston Texans. Woo! 
just talking about you, you damn near got that win against Dallas Cowboys. Now you're going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, though. This, Houston, this, what you got? This is oh, not going to be like the Cowboys game, Josh. Sure? I don't think. I, I'm positive, bro. I mean, I mean, shit. The Chiefs, they struggled last week with the Denver Broncos. They it was did. a divisional game, you know, but still. Damian Pierce is out for this game, Josh. He's out a couple of weeks with an ankle injury, and he was huge Fuck. against Dallas last week, man. I think that's going to be a big-time thing why the Kansas City Chiefs will be able to handle the Texans pretty easily, even on the road. I got to go KC, man. Minus 14 on the road. I take a minus 17. Yep. Minus 20. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the Chiefs. I'm taking them big. Yes, sir. Sorry, Houston. Denver Broncos at home at Stay High Stadium against the Arizona Cardinals. Roach? I I don't want to pick this game, bro. It, you don't? it makes me feel so dirty, man. Any it's, injuries we need to know about? Uh, Kyler Murray's out with obviously that well, torn ACL. Kyler Murray. That sucks, man. That's awful. Russell Wilson is in concussion protocols. It's going to be backup quarterback versus backup quarterback, Josh. Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, that's what it's appeared to be. Backup versus backup. I'm, I, I'm gonna... I, you know what? I mean, fuck, man. Jerry Judy did look great last week. So if he Russell did. Wilson can go, he's got a great connection with Judy. Yes. Um. Come on. I, I, I'll, I'll take... I'll take Denver. Because at least they still have a damn good defense. My God, Josh. How many times have you said that this year? <laughs> I'll take them because at least they have the good defense. Yeah. My dumbass I'm, will do it again. I'm taking them because they have the good defense. I mean, I'm not going to trust Colt McCoy versus that defense. So, yeah, I'm going to say for this, Josh. I'm only taking them because they have a good defense. I don't want to, but I'm doing it. All right, we're taking the donkeys. The Raiders at home versus the New England Patriots. Damn, that was a tough loss last week, man. Mm -hmm. That was a tough loss, man. Who could have saw that coming? Baker Mayfield, no practices. He starts. I mean, fuck. It was looking like he might not even start the game. They were looking at that other guy. He Mm -hmm. ends up starting, and he ends up having a game-winning drive. Same. Raiders, dude, that was fucking tough. Now you're at home against the New England Patriots, who had a great win against the Arizona Cardinals. Mm-hmm. You taking New England or are you taking Raiders? I'm taking New England. They're a little bit banged up with probably without Stevenson, Parker, and Myers this week. But even so, man, I can't trust the Raiders. So I'm going with the Patriots in that defense. I'm going to take the New England Patriots. And you know what? Raiders fans should be happy. Because I've been a bit of a jinx with the Raiders this year. Yeah. Every time I pick against them, it seems like you guys fucking win. They win. I finally picked you guys last week. You lose Jeez. to the Rams, Come to on, Baker. Man. How the fuck? So you know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll take the New England Patriots to win this so, game. The defense is just so fucking good for New England. It has mm-hmm. been all all year long. And with Derek Carr, some of those throws last week were absolutely <sighs> atrocious. I don't know what the hell they were. It's almost like he wants to fucking lose the game, right? Mm-hmm. New England's going to come up big with that defense, man. And what's the word on Ramondre Stevenson? Uh, he probably, he's going to be questionable, but they don't think he's going to play. All right. I think they, they, they're still fine enough mm-hmm. offensively with Harrison. I'll take New England Patriots. Yep. To the Chargers, who are coming off a big win last week against the Miami Dolphins. Big props to the defense, Chargers. They looked better last yes. week. Or maybe it was because Tua just looked that bad. But you still you made some plays defensively. And shout out to Herbert, man. He was incredible. He was dropping yes. dimes out there to Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Mm-hmm. Um, Titan, Tennessee Titans, they're coming off of a loss. They're on a three-game losing streak. You're taking uh, Tennessee or are you taking Chargers? I'm taking the Chargers, man. I feel like Herbert's going to get in a stride now with both his receivers finally healthy. The, like you said, the defense is playing better. It should be a good one, Josh. But I'm going to rock with the Chargers and win again. I feel like this could be a start of a little bit of a streak here. A strong yep. finish to the season. I'm taking the Chargers as well. To Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida, where the Bucks and Tom Brady, who did not look good at all last week, nope. are going up against the team that's looking the hottest in the AFC right now. Joe Burrow and the Bengals have gotten their shit together in a big way mm-hmm. at the right time. Yes, sir. Dude, I'm not even going to fuck with it. I know you can't 
pick the Bucks. You yeah. have to go with the Bengals. But I want to go with the Bengals. Mm-hmm. The, tell me they're not the hottest team in the NFC right now. And probably oh. arguably the hottest team in the NFL, period. Them and the Niners are the two hottest teams right now, Josh. Along with no, the Eagles. Yeah. Along, along with the Eagles. There's no way they lose this game, bro. They are going to destroy the Bucks like we did last week. Yeah, I'm taking the Bengals even on the road. Tampa yeah. Bay, the defense, the offense is looking slow. It's struggling. It's looking awful right now. The last couple of – that's three weeks actually. Yeah. Let's go Bengals. Let's, Let's go. go B-Money. There you go. Woo! Rocha, Sunday night football. A rematch from an overtime game between these two just weeks ago. Commanders hosting the New York Giants. Roach, who you got this time around? Because this is a close one. Obviously, last time. It was time, a close one. It, it was great, it was man, because it was a freaking tie. They tied last time. They moved this game into prime time. They moved out that Raiders Good. game out of prime time. And I'm going to rock Josh with the Washington football commanders. They are just looking like the better team of the two. I know they just tied two weeks ago. They're looking like the better two, man. I just don't like where the Giants are sitting right now, man. So give me Washington and that good defense, dude. Yeah, man. That that was uh that was that was looking tough, man. Washington is coming off a of bye week, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they're coming off a of bye week. They've had all these weeks to prepare for the yeah. New York Giants. They're here at home. Uh, Heineke looked really good in that game. Almost 300 yards, two touchdowns. Brian Robinson had a good game. Mm -hmm. Scary Terry went off. Mm -hmm. I will also take the Washington Commanders here at home on prime time. This is going to be a damn good game. Yes, sir. Damn good game. Going to Washington. We're both getting out. To Monday Night Football. We got the Packers. Ugh, cheeseheads. Hosting <laughs> the Los Angeles Rams off of an improbable win against the Raiders, led by Baker Mayfield on that game-winning drive on prime time. It was impressive, man. I was, I'm was. i still shocked that Baker did that, man. I'm still shocked. What you got in this game? Um, uh, I don't know if I can trust Baker Mayfield to do it again, Josh. I, Christian Watson, that connection with, with uh, Aaron no, Rodgers, just... man, has been incredible. I think we see it again. That Rams defense is banged up. Baker, I hope you have good success for the rest of the year. But sorry, man, you're going down. Sorry, Josh, to the Cheeseheads. Listen, dude, Baker, if you can beat the Cheeseheads, if you could have another game-winning drive and crush their souls on prime time in Lambeau, I'll love you forever for just that. Just that. I'll love you forever, Baker. Right. I'm going to take the Green Bay Packers in this game. Christian Watson has absolutely just busted wide open. He yes. is breaking out, man, over the mm -hmm. last month. That connection is serious. The run game for the Packers is going to be a bit too much as well. I'm taking new. I'm taking those cheeseheads to win this game. But man, I really, really would love another Baker Mayfield improbable win. That crazy. would be just the best. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But that does it here for the picks for week number fifteen. We hope you guys enjoyed the Pick'em Show. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up. We wish everybody the best of health. I hope we have some more crazy games this yes, week. Sir. I hope there's some more upsets this week. Rocha. I want seven in a row for my Niners. I want a division championship, baby. Let's go. All right. We'll see you guys later this week. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Let's go, baby.